And then within some of those little crescent highlights, there are little flecks which are very, very dark. So I'm now going back to the burnt umber and ultramarine blue combo to just add some of those dark flecks. couple more cobalt blue highlights. And then back to the very dark colour to pick out just a few feathery shapes. On the side here. And the way the feathers are falling, they kind of curve around the, the tail here. And we can even extend some of those lines beyond the, the edge of the silhouette. That can help create a little bit of a sense of movement. And again, it's not something you want to uh, overdo, but... Um, helps create a little bit of a sense of life. And then if you look closely at the plumage, you can see some of the, the quills of the feathers just showing through. So I'm using a little liner brush now to just put a couple of those very fine lines in with um, a mix of burnt umber Cad yellow, mostly cad yellow actually. It's a little bit of alizarin in there, but not very much. And again, I don't have to describe every single feather, but the presence of those of that colour will hopefully help create the illusion of you know the colouring of this particular hen. You know, and um, a big thank you to the Poultry Parade for suggesting this subject. It's uh, It's been challenging and interesting. Um, and, you know, I, I don't think I've ever painted such a colourful creature before. So that's been, you know, really, really, really cool to do. Now where we've got some of those uh, feathery shapes, I can take a little round brush and, you know, just for these few, be a little more precise. And uh, include the highlight on the end of each feather. And then go into the, the darker colour the burnt umber mixed with the ultramarine blue and um, 
just add a little bit of that there. Then go back into the paler blue highlight, mix that brown in to go back to my sort of greyish blue. Add a bit more titanium white to that same mixture. Put a little flick there. And then the very top edge of the back is looking a little dark at the moment. So just coming in with some pure titanium white. And again, avoiding that temptation to put a, put a line along the back. Just a few little flicks here and there. different shapes and sizes and orientations. The odd line sweeping over the curve at the top of the tail. And then back into the cobalt blue, I'm just adding a few. They're not they're not as bright as the highlights up on the top of the back, but they just just need a few little lighter touches down there. And then I need to look at the top of this leg here in a bit more detail. Yeah, nothing too major, but um, if I stick with this same brush and mix that into the some of the burnt umber I had before. Put in a bit of a softer shadow colour but still darker than uh, what I had there before. And put some of that at the top of the leg on this toe. 